Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank TV. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the top three septic tank scams. By scams, I mean scams that businesses use to try and rip you off. So let's start with scam number one. Okay, so the first scam is called the septic tank aerator scam. So what's an aerator and why is it a scam? Well, many companies say that if you put an aerator, connect an aerator to your septic tank, it will make it legal. So what's an aerator? Well, it's like a compressor that can sit above your septic tank. You have a pipe that goes into your septic tank and it pumps air into your septic tank. And that air causes loads and loads of bubbles. As I said, it turns your septic tank into like an aquarium. But that's all it does do. It pumps pumps bubbles into your septic tank. You can get other tanks, um, other aerators that people uh, can put in your septic tank. Um, they uh, take the lid off and it can actually sit inside your septic tank like that. And again, all it is, is a posh, right, compressor. And they just diffuse the water and pump out loads of bubbles into your septic tank. Now this will probably make a nice sound, it'll look, make the water frothy, but it will not make your septic tank legal. Now you can pay hundreds of pounds for an aerator, you can pay thousands of pounds for an aerator, but unless it comes with an EN12566-3, it's illegal. And no aerators come with that certification. So that's scam number one. Do not buy an aerator for your septic tank unless you like the sound of, of bubbles being churned up inside it. Scam number two. Many companies will tell you that soak away crates are illegal. Load of rubbish, right? Soak away crates are 100% legal. So why the confusion? Well, because there's two types of soakaways, right? The two types of soakaway are a rainwater soakaway and a septic tank soakaway. Now, the confusion comes because the word soakaway crates <clears throat> can be used for rain rainwater soakaways and they can be used for septic tank soakaways. However, you cannot put sept sewage from a septic tank into a rainwater soakaway and you cannot put rainwater from a, a rainwater soakaway into a septic tank soakaway. They must be completely separate, but you can use soakaway crates in either of these, okay? So soak away crates are 100% legal and, and lots of companies will say that soak away crates, no, they're illegal, don't use them. Because they wanna charge you three, four, five, six, seven thousand quid to put in a herringbone type of soak away for you. So soak away crates can be used specifically for septic tank soak aways or rainwater soak aways, but as I said, the rainwater soak away and the septic tank soak away must be separate. But please don't get ripped off by firms who want to charge you thousands <clears throat> for a drainage field or a soak away. Whereas if you'd have bought soak away crates, you could have saved thousands of pounds and the soak away would have cost you literally three, four, five, six, seven hundred quid instead of three, four, five, six, seven, eight thousand pounds. So that is scam number two. All right, so scam number three. This is probably the biggest scam out there, right? Many companies misuse and mislead people by using quotes from building regs that aren't even in there, right? Or aren't even lawful to quote. So what do I mean? Well, let me give you four of the biggest examples. Number one, building reg says that you cannot put your septic tank or soak away near trees. Load of rubbish. Load of rubbish. Building rigs doesn't even say that, number one. Right? Number two. You must put your septic tank at least seven metres from the house. That's law! And anyone who says otherwise is a liar. That's what you read on the internet. Number three. You must use a herringbone soak away because it's in uh, building rigs. That's the law. And anyone who doesn't do that should go to prison. Number four. You must not use a septic tank. They're illegal now and you must put in a sewage treatment plant from us 
and yes, uh, another 10,000 quid more than what you'd pay for a septic tank, but building regs says all this is illegal. Right, let me tell you something about building regs. Building regs are not laws. That's a fact, right? If you look in paragraph one of the document, section eight of the building regs, right? It says that this is guidance and suggestions only. In fact, they feel so strongly about it, the government, that in the same paragraph it says it is illegal, right, to quote section H of the building regs to people, right, as laws, right? It's illegal. There's only two laws from the Secretary of State regarding septic tanks and soakaways. Number one, the sewage system you buy must come with a legal government certification, like an EN12566-1 or three or six, etc. Second law is that your septic tank and your soak away, right, must not pollute any water courses, right, or the environment. Those are laws, right? You can't get away from them, right? Just like you must go 30 miles an hour or, low, or less on the motorway. That's the law, right? Building reg section H has lots of suggestions and guidance in there. How people who've got to help people with no idea about um, how to put a septic tank or soak away in, to show them examples, suggestions. Look, when you go to buy Kellogg's Corn Flakes, you see some strawberries on there, right? And that doesn't mean you have to have strawberries with Corn Flakes. It actually says an asterisk. These are serving suggestions. Now, why I feel so strongly about this is because people use, including building control officers, they will quote building regs to you as this. You can't do that because building regs says you can't. And I would say, show me where it says that. And they won't be able to show you, all right? That's number one. Or the company that said that to you, who's trying to get you to do all this and spend all this money, should get them to show you in building eggs where it says that, instead of, oh, I just read it on the internet, or check it out on the internet. Check it out on the internet, right? You won't see it on there, right? And, um, and yeah, so it really annoys me, because companies use this fake knowledge to get people to fork out and shell out money that they don't have to. So there you go. I'm on my soapbox, I know, but I don't like people getting ripped off. So look, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. If you'd like to see free, more free tips, help and advice, then just go to Septic Tank TV. You can type it in on Google or go to my um, YouTube channel. Please like my channel if you like it and feel free to watch more videos um, of me. <laughs> All right, listen, thanks a lot for watching. You take care and I'll speak to you soon.